Hi and welcome to this DCP Web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to color grade video clips using Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, so on my desktop, I've got this folder and inside this folder, I've got these two video clips which I downloaded from Pixabay. I'll put links to these videos in the YouTube description. Let's open up Premiere and we'll drag and drop these video clips into the media pool here and let's drag and drop them into the timeline. So we've got this scene here. What I like to do is double click on the video clip on the timeline and that will place it on this side over here so that we can do some color grading and compare it to the original. This is how I like to do this. So we'll click on the video clip and we're going to go to Windows and we're going to select Lumetri color here. So we'll click that and then we'll just, options will pop open on the side here and we're just going to select the basic corrections basic. We'll go maybe through some of these other options later but for now we'll select the basic correction. So inside basic correction, we've got temperature, tint, exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, whites and blacks. So all of this will affect the video clip. So let's think about it. Sometimes when we're doing sort of a color grading, we need to think about the scene and what it is. And this is clearly like a daytime sort of scene. So we may slightly adjust this towards the cooler sort of shades, right? Because there's a lot of blue in this sky. It'd be nice to have a nice sort of blue shade. So I'm going to reduce the temperature towards the blue shade but you can increase it more towards the red shade this is all down to your preference right color grading is about what you think that scene should look like and what you think is the best option for that scene so it's down to your own preferences so here we can clearly see a difference now between the two skies here side by side so here we've got the exposure this is the amount of light that we're going to have in our scene and the exposure is pretty good i think we can brighten it up slightly just a small touch normally these controls you, you adjust them slightly the contrast is the difference between our lights and dark colors right so we want to increase the contrast so we've got some nice uh, differences between our light and dark colors here you can see the difference already especially in the clouds and the shadows in the clouds here so the highlights is going to affect the lighter colors in our scene so i'm going to leave the highlights pretty much close to where they already are I don't think you need to adjust this too much because the brightness is pretty good in this scene and the shadows are going to increase we're actually going to reduce the shadows down the darkness of these shadows we want to make it a lot darker I think it will look better like this with these sort of silhouettes of these mountains I think that looks a lot better the whiteness I'm going to pretty much bump that up just a little bit and the black levels I'm going to bring them down some as well now the saturation I want to bump that up just to give the colors a bit more pop and now we can see the difference between these two scenes. This one looks a lot better coloured. Uh, the variations in the sky and and the the um, this these clouds and so forth. I think it looks better. But then that's my own preference, right? You may say to me it doesn't look as good as the original one, but that's down to your preference too. So you need to colour grade based on what you like to see, and then you can see the differences between them. So let's click the play button here. We can see the original clip without any colour grading. Let's stop it around here and now we can just move the timeline, just drag it slightly and we can click the play button and now we can see the difference between the two. I prefer this color graded one. I like the colors a lot more, especially the, the darker shades in the sh You can see the clear difference between them now, right? Especially in this sort of view here. So this is down to your own preference. So let's have a look at this second clip. Let's go across the timeline. We've got a second video clip here. Let's double click that so we can see that on this side here. So just double click with the left mouse button. And we've already got the options already set up here. And the temperature in here, it's kind of like, um, it's definitely a daylight scene, right? But we could increase the temperature towards this side and we can say give it a bit more sort of a yellowy tint to it so it's a bit more like sunshine hitting right you can see the floor difference here as well and the sort of uh, these fields here as well so the tint i'm going to leave that alone for the moment the exposure is pretty good you know the lightness and the scene and the, the shadows or the highlights on on this lady they look pretty good to me so i don't think we need to do much with that but we can increase the contrast a bit here between our lights and darks and the highlights we can increase those a little bit as well the shadows I want to bring down slightly and then the whiteness I think is pretty good we can increase that slightly and the blackness or the black levels will bring that down so these shadows look a bit better here you can see the difference between the shadows now they're quite dark down here so that's just a basic sort of color change here we can increase the saturation to give more vibrancy to the hills and the green and the pasture in this scene so if we increase this saturation I don't want to go too far I'm roughly around here we can see the difference between the the green grass and now the mountains and everything's popping a little bit more and you can adjust the tint as well you can give it a little bit of a tint i would say probably we want 
you know, this is more towards the greens, this is more towards the, the pinky sort of colours over here, but I think um, it's a pretty good setup here. So we leave this at zero. You can just click in here on the number and just type in the letter zero, or the number zero, just to reset it. And then it's really down to the temperature. So we've got more of a blue shade here, we've got more of a, a warmer shade here. I think we'll have it more warm. It looks like it's a hot day here, and this is the scene. So let's go back to the first frame on this clip, roughly the first frame. Let's go back here on the first frame as well. And you can see the difference between the dress, like the red colors on the dress here, they look quite washed out, and this one's got a bit more vibrancy to it. And again, you can adjust this. There's no sort of, um, uh, you know, first time pass when you go over it and you, and you say it's perfect. You always sit down and adjust it slightly to see what you think is good. If we click the play button here, we can see this particular clip and we'll pause it after around seven seconds. We can click the play button on this side. Uh, let's just go back here and click play. And we can see the difference between those two clips. And you know, it's down to your own preference at the end of the day, what you want that particular color scene to look like. This is your video clip. So if you decide to make it blue, like a blue shade, then that's your choice. You can have it on a blue, you can have it more on a sort of shade here. I wouldn't go to the extremes on these temperatures because then it looks a bit strange, but uh, a nice cool sort of blue color works well as well. I think actually that looks slightly better. So it's for you to go and experiment with. There are other options in here, some more detailed options and breakdowns. Um, we'll look at these probably in a separate tutorial. I just wanted to do a basic sort of color grading. Uh, I definitely think there's a good improvement on this first clip between the two. This definitely looks like it's got a lot more vibrancy and a lot more color to it. It's down for you to now go and experiment with those settings in the basic correction. And we'll look at some of these more advanced ones uh, in a future tutorial. Let's go ahead and save this work. Let's minimize this. Let's close this window. That's the end of this tutorial. I hope you find it useful. I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial.